So I'm here at the ID Tech Expo show with Neotech. This is Martin from Neotech. Wow, show us what you're up to. Okay, so thanks. Um, so what we do is we, we print electronics in 3D space. So uh, we have taken a printing process called Aerosol Jet that comes from Optimec in the USA, and we integrate that into uh, CNC motion platforms to create systems that will work in mass production. So we have systems that print such things as this kind of thing. This is a, a, a touch sensor, uh, just a demonstrator here. So printing on a polycarbonate injection molded component. And we've got very, very simple material combination. We've got uh, silver printed on that that makes a circuit and also has a touch functionality. And then that's also integrated with traditional electronics to make sort of a hybrid component. Um, so that's, that, that, that's really just a demonstration to show some of the capabilities. Um, we also print things like this. Uh, this is an application that's done by one of our customers called Light on Mobile. And this is actually a, a printed antenna that would go ultimately into a cell phone. And what you can see with printing here on the reverse side, around the front face and over the top. Um, so this is, again, just a demonstration part to show the capabilities of taking electronics from 2D and putting them into 3D space. What's the benefit of putting them into 3D space? Um, well, obviously, um, if you think about uh, 2D electronics, you know, traditional circuit boards, uh, uh, those kind of things, you have a certain uh, uh, space that you need. If you have 3D electronics, you can actually reduce the footprint. You use a sort of the, the height, the Z, as, 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 as another additional bit of real estate, so to speak. Right. Okay. So what we have here is uh, a demonstrator showing the ability to actually scale the process onto, onto larger components. Uh, this is a project that we've run with Bayer uh, Material Science and we are printing heater patterns as a demonstrator of the automotive industry. So with this large injection molded component which comes out of the mold obviously 3D shape uh, and then we're putting a heater pattern on that. And the idea is, is to, um, to, to, to show the capability to replace glass in automotives with uh, polycarbonate, by which you can actually save about 30% weight. And the, uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the concept is that if you have a normal automotive windshield and you have a circuit on there, it's done with screen printing in 2D, then the glass is hot form. If you have a molding, and you want to use the moulding to save weight, you actually have a 3D shape, so you've got to be able to find a way of actually getting that functionality onto that. So this is a working heater pattern as a demonstrator. Ultimately, we'll be scaling this process to maybe a couple of metres by one metre in size.